Welcome to DIO team. Um, just a friendly reminder, we are not certified here. Still gotta get done. And we are going to be working on my wife's car. It's a 2014 Camry LE. And we are going to be removing the rear camera. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys um, step by step how I do it. And um, I got myself here a couple tools from Harbor Freight. Got this nifty tool that's gonna help us remove each of these each of these clips in order to get to this camera to the back way. Uh, this is like less than definitely less than twenty dollars at Harbor Freight. I'll post that in the, in the description. Also uh, got this from Harbor Freight as well. Handy dandy clip kit. Um, around 20 ish or a little bit less than $20. I recommend both of these. You know, you're trying to save money like we do here. If you guys notice, it's uh, blurry in this area. That's why we're gonna replace it. I don't know if it's showing up a lot on the camera, but it's blurry all in this area. Hey guys, let's see if I can remember how to use this. What? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That one came out okay. They're like plastic clips. My wife likes to get in on the action, so let's just uh, watch how she's doing. I didn't break a nail. Nice. And we actually did this not too long ago to um, another Camry. Another Camry, uh, her previous Camry. That I have. And uh, we had to do actually to change the light bulbs on the license plate. And it worked out fine. But ended up replacing a lot of them. Honey, oh, I broke it. So we're end up doing like, that's why we have the kit. We'll just end up uh, re replacing them. I mean, I'd, ideally, you know, you want, we want them intact. Um, but we're, we're, we're okay with us having to replace them. My wife's having a little bit of trouble with that one. Let me jump in to help her. This one's a little bit... Just pop down. Actually, this is probably the proper way to do it. Well... Oh. Because oh. right they they're not breaking. Yeah, see, oh. that one didn't break at all, so... Now I know. Another disclaimer, okay. don't do what we're doing. <laughs> Look, at they're actually... This one just oh. popped out. <laughs> Wow. That's even better. As you guys can see, I'm, I'm able to pop them out with just my long fingernails. And I'm actually going to be able to reuse these. Let me try this one. Yeah, this one, see? They come out. It's even better. Intact. Um... Well, going back to what I was talking about earlier on my wife's previous car, we were actually using this. Maybe they were different clips, but we were using this tool pretty successfully and we weren't breaking them like we did right now. We broke a bunch of them. Um, but let's continue. Let's see if I can use the finger method. Oh, no better. <laughs> there you go. So, we're about to take this out. That's what that looks like. We'll actually put this to the side. Wife, come and come and zoom in here so the viewers can see. That's what it looks like behind there, and I'm assuming get a good picture right here that this is gonna be. Yeah, this is gonna be. Let me bring this door down. <laughs> that's gonna be the rear view camera. Yeah, that's gonna be it. 
Um, so we'll get well. These look from experience like 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna go get some tools and and remove this. That way we can uh, get that out and make sure we get the right replacement. Got it. So I got myself my 10 millimeter. Okay. And I'm gonna take apart these two nuts that are holding the rear view camera in place. Let's get that one loose. I'm gonna work on the other one. That's two. 10 millimeter. to take that off. I'm gonna show you guys, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. And I believe this white clip, one, two. So, Get started on that. You want to help me? Okay. Um, I'll switch off. Oh, I'm tidying a clip. Okay, my wife's gonna. She wants to jump in. I'm gonna just do it by hand. Okay. One thing I love about her, all the married fellas can relate. <laughs> oh, wifey who likes to help, who likes to learn. Awesome. It's doable. Yeah. Okay, it's coming off. Nice. And then you got this one right here and this one. You can use the, yeah, the closer, there you go, the boxer. There you go. Just like that. Sure. She got it. No. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. There you go. Mm. No? It's a weird no. angle, huh? She tagged me in. That's it a little bit, but right there I got it loose enough. Just do the rest of my hands. Klein needle nose. Um, for when I do electrical work, but I use it for other stuff too. <laughs> I don't know why my wife's laughing at me. <laughs> Weird angle. Actually, let me show you guys. I missed this one when I was counting the clips. This one right here where my finger's at, it's right in the middle. And let me continue working on getting this this clip, this little bugger, that clip, and this clip. That, that motion, I popped it out. And then for the middle one, I just, I squeezed the tabs and like I popped it and then I used this as a hammer and was able to get that out. So remove this. I believe. Let's figure this out. Oh, I see. This is being held in by like this. Oh, it's right there. That's how we got that out. And it actually exposed this clip now, so I could, uh, I wasn't able to, to pry it out when it was in there, which I was trying to do. Um, I'm going to get my, I left my flathead over there. Oh, this is the wrong tool. Oh, there you go. That worked. So I'm able to expose this, which, you know, is uh, critical for us to order the replacement. And actually, I wanted to expose this too. That way I know how the harness looks like and I can match it to the other ones if we're going to buy it. But first, we're actually going to 
see if I could. I'm gonna see if I could open this, and maybe just clean it. Look at it, clean it, or do something. So that's what we're about to do right now. All right, guys, I got my handy dandy 14 in one Klein electronic screwdriver. I use this for a lot of other stuff, but I'll use it for this. And as you can see, there's two screws in the back, and we're gonna actually see if that um, loosens the this cover. So I noticed the little screws. Let me let me take the look out here. Actually, what did that do? Oh, I just took that out. Okay. So just, I see what the heck is in there. Those even tinier screws? Oh, they are. So there's tiny screws in here. We're thinking that if I take those out, those will release this cover damn why is it scratch from somebody scratched it or something so i ended up finding this is the skinniest screwdriver i have it's for my glasses actually but it's not deep enough so my wife's laughing at me um i tried to it fits in there can you get a close-up it fits in there but it's not deep enough so let me see the little screw the little screws can you get so it's been a few days and we actually ended up ordering the replacement part um as you guys know i was trying to uh, fix this one the original one ordering this one off of uh, amazon i think it was like 120 ish 130 ish dollars but uh i want to open it up right here with you guys so you guys can see and as you guys can see i want to show you guys side by side see how similar those look and the difference and just remember guys that uh, like i said before the installation is just reverse of how we took it apart so uh, and i'll get the the two oh, oh no actually this part this part this clips right here you're gonna hear it when it pops in like it, it holds against this this metal part so it's in it's not going nowhere uh let me put this on now this is the next step remember this has the three tabs but once you got it lined up give it a nice push and you see that it's secure that's the way it's supposed to go and now all the work is done from back here can you get me right here sweetie a little bit Look. And this is where we have, you know, all our our all nuts. Right. Okay. And Do you want me to help you here? Yeah, you can help me. Let me just get a few of them in. So as you guys can see, my wife, my beautiful wife, is lending a hand. And I'll get some, some footage for you guys to see what she's doing. She's just hand tightening all of them, all of the, the nuts. Just a reminder to everybody that's watching out there, um, if you like our video, you like our content, um, hit the like button, please subscribe, follow, follow us, support us. Um, if you have any questions, please get in contact. Yeah, you could drop your questions. Yes. There you go. You feel the tiny and loosening? But start from start this way. Um, all the way to the right. Yeah, and then nice um, and slip there. Okay, you want to do another? You're the man. No. I'm gonna snuggle these up. My wife did the rest of them. Teamwork. She's such a good helper. When she's not yelling at me. Okay, I'm just snugging these up. Then I'll hook up the connection. There we go, we're good. And that's why the zip tie, they include the zip tie, we can actually just, I'm gonna leave it like that. 
So let's go to the front. Let's go check. Let's go check how it looks on camera before we put the this piece back on. All right, guys. So we got the camera hooked up, but before I put the the that piece back on, I don't even know what it's called. Sorry, guys. I'm like I barely woke up. <laughs> I know it's it's late in the day. I just woke up. I'm just like uh, I don't have. I can't even talk. So maybe I shouldn't even talk. But here, baby, uh, record this. This is the moment of truth, guys. Oh, there's reverse and look at Ooh, it. Oh, it's clear. It's clear. I love it. But is it supposed to capture your bumper like that? I think it is, huh? Yeah. Okay. So you guys can see it's not blurry on the middle like it was. Uh, yeah. Let's go parallel park. Now we're gonna. My wife is right now. We're gonna reversing into the parking space using our camera. Yes. You see the lines. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. I wanted to be able to see things. Not all freaking And the blurry. bumper, oh, okay. Okay, good. Right there. Cool. You're good. All right, let's go park up, and then we'll start putting the, the, the panel back on the, the trunk. All right, here we go with the, the, the cover panel. This through. Line up all the all the little holes, and if you guys recall, um, Line some of these the holes. some of these little clips that we got out, they were they came out intact, so we'll reuse those. We're able to reuse those ones. Right, let me actually reverse it. Use it. I got a few more over here. As long as I get them in key spots, I don't think it'll fall. Do this one. on the middle one so it like it's still good cool and then i'll use my handy dandy kit to replace the rest of them try these out okay get it who's over there you keep looking over there my, my, my wife gets distracted. I'm asking her to be my cameraman. For the most part, she's doing a good job, but I've noticed she looks away, and I'm like, I don't know. I need to have a safe word for her to come back into focus. But <laughs> she's funny. Oh yeah. Does it work? It holds. Yeah. Nice. And one more right there. Here we go, guys. You can see we got the trunk panel back on. We had to replace a few of these clips because I broke them. Uh, we're happy with that. Cool, how does it look? Looks, Looks okay, good. Okay, and then we'll do, we'll go back, show you guys that the camera's installed, the new one. All right, there you guys go. Just to recap, uh, to recap. consider it consider it success, guys. Once yes. again, you guys like our content. You guys like our video. Um, please hit the thumbs up, hit the like, subscribe, share it, leave comments, leave questions, anything, guys. Just interact with us. Yes. Bio. Thanks, guys. See you on the next one.